This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Gateway NV57 a laptop computer with a cracked screen. And I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Gateway NV57 a laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power, and that means removing the battery from the bottom. What you do is you flip the laptop over and you use a sharp object like a screwdriver or a pen to reach in into the orange lever and slide it to the left and the battery lifts up and you lift up the battery and remove the battery. And once you did that, the laptop is safe to work on. Okay, while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the laptop model number because sometimes that's difficult. There's a black sticker with a white part on the bottom with some barcodes on the bottom. And if you look at that, the top left you see NV57. So that's what we're looking for. So the numbers after the NV57 do not matter for our purposes. Okay. And so we flip the laptop back over. Now it's safe to work on. And we also notice that the information, the laptop model information, is on the palm rest with the label on the palm rest, NV57, and we do not need the numbers afterward. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, to get to the screen assembly with this and most other laptop computers, you need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you need to remove two screws at the bottom. And those screws are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. So before we start on that, I'll go over the tools that we're going to use today. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size of the screwdriver. We also have a smaller PH00 electronics screwdriver for smaller screws. We have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver mostly to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. And a hobby knife or an X-Acto knife to remove the plastic screw covers. And that's what we're going to start on first. So we use our hobby knife to remove the plastic screw covers. And we put them right next to the screw opening. There's one. And the same with the second one, like so. Okay, once we do that, we use our electronics screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom. These were kind of tight, so be careful. Might want to use some force so you don't strip them. One and two, and we put them in a separate pile. For each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile and keep the piles in the order in which I remove the screws. So when assembling the laptop together, I can keep track of which screws go where. Once we remove the screws, we're going to remove the screen bezel. And the way we do that is we put our fingertips on the screen side, or fingernails, and gently start lifting up the plastic part and listen for snapping sounds. Once we hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel is coming off. So we work our way all the way around the screen bezel like so. If he gets stuck at a place, keep going and come back to that place later on. Keep moving around. In this corner, it's a little bit more difficult, so we'll come back to it later on. Go on the bottom, same thing. Just snap it off like so. And then we can come back to this difficult corner. So what you can do is kind of lift it up and pull it towards you. And that usually does the trick. And the screen bezel is removed. The next step 
is to look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's, it's mounted to metal mounting brackets with screws on the side of the screen. So we have to remove the screws on the side of the screen. And we're going to see how easy it is to reach those screws. So in this case, it's pretty easy to reach those screws. So all you do is tilt the screen assembly back a little bit so the screen doesn't fall forward on you. And start removing three screws on each side. So we do the bottom one. two, and three, like so. And we're going to do the same for the other side. One, two, and three, and we have these screws in a separate pile. Once you remove the screws, you gently start tilting the screen forward, and right away you see that the webcam cable is stuck to the back of the screen. So what we do is gently hold on to the webcam cable and gently tilt the screen forward and remove the adhesive that's stuck to the back of the screen and keep tilting the screen forward and we see that the webcam cable is stuck on the bottom too so we remove that and then we put the screen down like so. For this type of screen there's only one connection on the bottom and it's secured by some adhesive tape. So with our fingertips or with the X-Acto knife we lift up the adhesive tape around the connector like so. Keep moving around. Like so. And also the back of the video cable has some adhesive that's attached to the back of the screen. So we have to lift that up. It's not too strong, but it's there. Once we lift up all the adhesive, we can slide the connector out. So I'll show you, just slide it out like this, and the screen is free. Now, before we go on, I'm going to show you how to slide the connector back in. You slide it in, and you'll feel, but not hear, two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. And let's take a look to see what the connection looks like. You can get a good focus. Okay. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's keep moving. We slide the connector back out again and take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. It's a standard screen and as of late 2012, it's the most common screen available for laptops. And let's take a look at the part number. The part number you're looking for is B156XW02. B156XW02. Now, when you get your new screen in, the part number will not likely match it, but the screen will look exactly the same and it will have the same specs and the connector will be in the same place. Okay, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us, with this screen, we ship this exact toolkit for free, so you can have all the tools you need to do the repair. We have free email technical support, so if you get stuck at a place, send us an email, we'll help you out. And a two-year warranty on the screen. We also ship from Atlanta, Georgia, and Tucson, Arizona, so that you have fast delivery in three days or less for most addresses in the United States. And also, we ship worldwide, so if you're outside the United States, most likely we can ship to your country. So to buy the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. 
there will be a short form for you to fill out with your email address and the laptop model number. Just give us that information and we'll email you a link to buy the right screen online. Or you can search for it yourself. Click search for your screen on the bottom. Then there will be a search box. Just type in NV57 and the right screen will be the first result that will pop up and you can go to that link and buy the screen online. Once you do get your screen in, connected as I showed you, the connector, then mount the screen on the metal mounting brackets, put the three screws in on each side, snap the screen bezel back on, and then put the two screws in on the bottom, on the bottom, and uh, you should be good to go. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.